These are my 30 day water challenge results. I drank only water for 30 days and I'm super excited to share my experience with you guys. So if you're interested in watching more, then definitely stay tuned. guys so for those of you guys who don't know I am on a nine month transformation journey it started in April my birthday month in the month of April we did a 30 day journaling challenge and then for the month of May we decided to do a 30 day water challenge where we only drink water we can still eat food but we only drink water we don't drink you know caffeine cokes coffee tea you know juice and other beverages like that so it's been an amazing experience we have 700 people who have joined us on this nine month transformation journey so if you are just hearing about this and you are interested in being a part then definitely click the link in my description box where you can sign up it's completely free to sign up and make sure you stay till the end of this video so that you can hear what our transformation challenge for next month the month of June is going to be now this one is going to be a good one but it's gonna be a little tough but I know that you can do it and I'm super excited to continue transforming lives together so yeah without further ado let's get started into my experience so one thing that I noticed is that my skin guys has been clearing up actually like two Two days ago I was on a zoom call with some friends you guys know that you know we're still isolated we're still in quarantine but we can have our zoom parties and we can meet online so I was on a zoom call with some friends and one of the ladies was like oh my goodness like your skin looks flawless what has been going on with your skin and I was like girl for 30 days I only drank water and literally the pimples are gone. So literally like my skin has been flourishing and I feel like this can definitely be attributed to the 30 day water challenge. So that's one thing that I recognized. Another thing that I recognized, now this might be TMI for some people, but more frequency in you know, using the potty. So it's really been a detoxifying experience. Um, like I really feel like my body has been detoxing and I've been struggling for the past few months. I've been struggling with like, um, chest pains. Like my chest has been hurting. Um, at one point it was really so bad that I went to the emergency room and I thought that, you know, something might be wrong. Um, like something might be seriously wrong. I went to the emergency room. They did all these tests and all that good stuff. And basically the doctor said, you know, you're good. Thank God, you know, but he said that you have acid reflux. You have acid reflux and I want you to stay away from things like all my favorite things like chocolates and from, you know, caffeine and Cokes and stuff like that. I don't really drink Coke, but I do have tea every day. I love to drink tea. And he's like, you need to stay away from certain foods and certain things that you drink and spicy foods. Y'all know I'm Caribbean. I'm half Haitian, half Jamaican. And when he said no spicy foods, I'm like, what about my curry chicken? What about my jerk chicken? He prescribed me some medicine that I was taking. So I was taking um, some medicine for my chest pains. But I realized, guys, I realized that this month my chest pains were gone. Like my chest pains left and like I feel good. I feel good in my chest. I feel lighter. I feel like I feel so much better. So those are my updates for, you know, what I've seen take place like outwardly or physically with my body from drinking only water for 30 days. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this. It's been an amazing experience and I love that it's been transformative on the outside, but I feel like it's been even more transformative and life-changing on the inside. Okay guys, so God was really speaking to me prophetically about not just detoxing, you know, my body by drinking water, but detoxing every area of my life. 
And if you're on the transformation challenge, you know you got that email when I was breaking down the different areas in your life that you may need to detox. You know, it could be cleaning your house. It could be detoxing negative thought patterns, negative ways of thinking and ideas, you know, and filling that up back with God's word. And it's crazy because God's word is likened to water in the Bible. There's a scripture that says that Jesus, he washes us as a bride with the water of the word and the Bible. God's word is often related to being like a water, like a cleanser. And it's like, I went through, you know, this month I went through this journey of detoxing specifically the spirit of fear, detoxing um, fear, anxiety, worry, um, and different negative emotions. And God's like, I have not given you this. And I want you to detox from it. And just in filling, you know, myself with God's word, with God's truth, it did a cleansing work in my life. Literally, guys, life changing. So detoxing every area, detoxing things like your, your cell phone. Some of you guys are over storage on your phone. You've got like millions of pictures. You need to cut down on some of that storage. Um, get rid of, you know, detox your closet. Maybe you have a whole bunch of clothes, a whole bunch of stuff that you don't use that you could donate to someone else in need during this time. Detoxing your closet. So really go to the Lord and pray to him and ask him, God, what are some areas of my life that I need to cleanse, that I need to, you know, get rid of some things, that I need to make room, that I need to make way so that you can do a new thing in my life and then being obedient to whatever that is. But Man, it's just been such an amazing experience through this 30 day water challenge, guys. Another thing that this time has been for me is it's been a refreshing time. It's been a time of healing and refreshing. And when you think of refreshing, you think of like a bottle of water. You think of a, you know, cool bottle of water for one who is thirsty that they're able to be refreshed. But I know of a well that never runs dry and that well is Jesus. And I was able to find that because I was on this 30 day water challenge and I was learning the basic principle of when you are thirsty, that you can have this water to refresh. It was starting to click in the spirit. And I was learning that when I am thirsty spiritually, when I am drained, when I am tired, when I feel like I can't go any further, when I feel like I can't go any longer, when I feel like I just can't do it anymore, God is saying, come to me, all you who are weary, all you who are burdened, where you can find rest, when I, where I can refresh you, where I can fill you. You can drink from God's well. He is the living water. He is the living well and he never runs dry. And I'm reminded of the woman at the well in the Bible and she came and she was getting water. She was getting water and, and Jesus told her about this water that will never run dry, this everlasting water. And she said, where can I get this water from? Where can I get this water from? And Jesus is that everlasting water. He is that everlasting well, and he made her whole. He, he forgave her sins. He said, go and sin no more, because this woman had multiple husbands living in adultery because she was trying to fill her life. She was trying to fill these voids. She was thirsty, and she was trying to fill the void with sex, trying to fill the void with relationships. And a lot of us today, we try to fill that void with sex, with relationships, um, drugs, alcoholism, shopping, all these different things. We try to fill that void. But God wants us to draw closer to him to know that he has everything we need and he is everything we need. So that is what I learned on my 30 day water challenge. If you were a part of this challenge, leave a comment below and let me know what you learned. But this is what we're going to do. I'm going to share with you guys what our challenge is going to be for next month. And I kind of alluded to it. I alluded to it and I'm going to share it now. So I said that something that some of us do when we're trying to fill a void is some of us, not everybody, but for some of us, this is an issue. We go shopping. We try to spend money. We try to, you know, do things that we think will make us feel, feel better. But sometimes you can only feel better for a moment if you don't deal with the root of the issue and experience true healing and wholeness. So the challenge for June is no spending money. 
no spending money. You can only spend money to pay your bills and groceries. No eating out. Some of us are excited. We're like, oh, coronavirus is over. The restaurants are opening back up and going to the re-. No eating out. No clothing shopping. No getting your nails done. No nothing. Nothing that is like extracurricular or um, anything like that. And this will force you to stay a little longer, stay a little longer in the house and spend time with Jesus. Some of us are like, I'm tired of being at home. It's so quiet. I'm ready to get back out. You can get back out. You can go for a walk. You can go places with friends and just not buy anything. It'll teach you self-control and it'll teach you that we don't fill voids with money. We don't fill voids with material things, but the only one who can fill us and make us whole is God. This will teach us how to cook food in our own house. You know, no eating out. We're going to cook our own food. It has to be groceries that you can make yourself or you know, paying your bills, you know, your phone bill, your rent, you can pay for things like that. So no spending challenge, no spending, no spending. And I'm excited about this because this will help some of us to save. I want us to like truly try to be good stewards over our finances and see how much money we have saved after this no spending challenge. So you can take your credit cards, whatever it is, hide it in a little corner in your house so you don't get tempted Um, You know, budget out your money in advance so that you can be prepared. Make sure you budget out your money. Um, But it's the no spending challenge, guys. And I think this is going to challenge us and transform us in many different ways. I think a lot of us are going to grow to appreciate what we do have, appreciate just knowing God, appreciate so much more, and then also grow in self-control. So no spending challenge. I love you guys. If you have any questions about this challenge, you can shoot me an email and ask me a question or leave a comment below. But I'll see you in my next YouTube video. Until next time, bye.